Let's hit refresh. Woo! Look at that. Today, I am going to recreate the cursor website. Yes, the cursor website with this tool called Copy Coder, and we're going to be using cursor to do it. So let me explain. Copy Coder is a new AI tool that basically allows you to upload any image, generate a prompt that is going to help you develop a full stack app, website, AI tool, whatever the heck you're building, you'll be able to do it with this tool and it's going to make it look absolutely insane because it's gonna give you the prompt and the architecture and the components and the structure that you need to create full stack applications with authentication, with security, with backend, front end, all of that good stuff. All the hard stuff that, I, that us, the non-developer, non-techie guys, we're struggling with. I've watched hundreds of videos on YouTube trying to figure out how to build all this stuff, and I was really struggling. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how this one tool with one image is gonna take you to the next level. If you've never built a full functioning development application, whether it's a SaaS or an iOS app, you've come to the right place. I'm gonna show you using Copy Coder today how you can actually build a front end and a back end using copy coder. It's absolutely insane. This is one of the best tools out there. I've been using it on every single product and I want to show you guys exactly how this works. So let's just jump right into it. Create powerful prompts for AI coding tools. It's copycoder.ai. There's a link in the bio here. You guys can check it out if you're interested. But let me show you why you should be interested. So if you're like me and you're a non-developer, you struggle with actually explaining to Cursor or Lovable what you actually want built and keep it from hallucinating. Just going off on tangents, building stuff you don't want, putting frameworks and different environments out there. What this does is this will take any image. So as you see here, drag and drop images of websites. Okay, so for the sake of this video, why don't we recreate the cursor website using Copy Coder? So this will be a fantastic way. It's a really beautiful site. So all we have to do is take a screenshot. So obviously I don't want to do the whole site because that video is going to take longer. So why don't we just take this one really nice section. So why don't we take this section here, okay? So I'll pull this in and I'll take a screenshot of this whole section. We're gonna to go to Copy Coder and all you have to do is you have to drag and drop the image. So we're gonna choose the image. So here's our screenshot, okay? We're gonna hit that. And then we're gonna choose our um, focus. So the focus is obviously a web application. We're gonna be recreating it. You can put UI images. You could go for example to like Dribble with the triple Bs and find an amazing looking design. So we can essentially look for, um, let's just type in like uh, UI and find UI. So if something like this, for example, or whatever, whatever design you want, or if you have your designer that has some mockups, this would be the perfect thing. But again, let's just go with cursor for now. Let's go to copy coder. And then what we're gonna do really simply is just hit generate prompt. And that's it, it's gonna take that image and it's going to create the most important thing, which is a very, very clear engineering plan, a developer's plan, how the, the actual developer would think of it. And let's just start reading through it. Create details components with three with these requirements. Use your client directive for client side components. Stylize with Tailwind for design. Use Lucid React for icons. Do not use other UI libraries unless requested. This is one of the biggest issues with any no dev, no code tools is it hallucinates. It goes off and, and creates all kinds of stuff. Installs libraries you will never use. Installs all kinds of components you will never use. So you have to tell it not to use stuff in order to keep it in line. Right. This is what this does. Use stock photos, configure the next config JS file, install all that stuff, create all the paths, the summary, navigation, layout components, content section, um, interaction controls, and so on and so on and so on from colors to grid to the structure, everything. This code tool creates all of that. In order for you to create this for your project, you really have to know how to develop even the language that it uses. The beautiful part of Copy Coder is it does it for you. But here's the best part. So we can now copy this. Down here you can see you got Cursor, Lovable, Bolt, Windsurfer, uh, VO, Replit Agent, whatever you want. You could copy this, go into, for example, Cursor, launch a new project, and paste that as a prompt. But that's the old way already. These guys already developed the newer way. You click Generate Page Structure. It's going to analyze the prompt, and then it's going to create a very, very specific page structure that we're then going to download. So there you go, so here's the page structure. It's a Next.js root structure based on navigation menu items, in excluding main route. Make sure to wrap all routes with these components. You got your pricing, features, enterprise, blog, forum, cheers, 
page implementation for every single one, the things and all the components that are going to be needed on each one of those pages. It's absolutely insane. So now we have generated it. So again, we could copy it to cursor, but there's one better step. All we do is we hit download prompt file. And this is where the magic of copy coder happens. You say, I want this with authentication and bam. Now you went just from building a demo that looks nice to a full fledged product with authentication, with logins, password resets, backend, front end, the whole thing. And you could really now with the power of copy coder become a full stack developer. I've been building stuff with this. It's absolutely amazing. So for the sake of this, actually it doesn't matter. Let's just do it with it, right? So here is the thing. You click authentication and now you're going to get this prompt. We're going to copy the CLI prompt. This is the most important part. We're going to open up cursor, open folder. Let's go to AI projects. Let's go to cursor app. It's empty. It's going to open it up. And then all we have to do now is copy this code here and paste it into the directory. And what this is going to do is it's going to basically bring in all of our prompts that we just created. You got your setup, you got your initial prompt, and you got your two page routers. And if you add the authentication, step three would be the authentication. So now all we do is we say run at files setup dot uh, setup. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. We need to go to agent. That's why. Okay, there it is. So we're going to click on it and we're going to say run. Let me click on these. There we go. Run at files setup. Um, and that's it. And now it's just going to be off and running. So it's going to basically read all the prompts. It's going to look at the markdowns. It's going to basically get all the instructions and it's going to start step by step building out everything that we needed to do. There it is. It's installing the next JS project. It's going to install all your dependencies. I have it in agent mode because then it's not going to keep asking me if I want to do this or do that or fix this. It just go ahead and do it. That's the beautiful part with agent with, um, with cursor is it's going to just basically start building everything and start doing everything. And if it gets stuck somewhere, it's going to ask you to accept, which is totally fine, but it's going to do 95% of the work. So there it is. We have successfully installed our um, temporary folder. And then it's going to basically, there you go. So now we have our whole Next.js project. It's going to install all our dependencies. It's doing the Lucid React like we, we gave it the instructions to. All we got to do is hit accept a few times. And very quickly, it's going to go through step one which is initializing, and then it's gonna go through page two, which is the pages. And then it's gonna just start building out all the different pages that was in that image. I'm actually super curious to see what this is gonna do and how it's gonna look, because I haven't done the cursor demo. This is you know off the cuff. I'm literally just doing it as we speak all in real time. And if you guys haven't watched my channel, I just basically find new tools, find new projects, and just start building out a bunch of stuff all in real time. No editing, unfiltered. I might cuss once in a while and uh, have my grape juice. But uh, it's just having fun. I'm a no-code developer. I've been building for the last six months and creating a bunch of content for you guys. So if you want to learn, you know, give a follow, enjoy the content. We just have fun doing it. And um, so while this is going, I can tell you a little bit of my background is I ran a um, like a iOS development studio with a very, very talented developer and designer. We're still friends now. And I was blown away when I started showing him these things that I've been doing because I don't have the developer brain. You know, I didn't grow up developing. I only, I was always the idea guy managing projects and we got to make a lot of really, really cool stuff, but I always relied on the developers to make my ideas come to life. And now with the introduction of this and AI and no dev, no code dev, I'm able to do all this stuff myself, which is absolutely insane. Um, especially with this tool, because now again, we are taking what those developers, those good engineers know in their head and we're prompting it correctly and actually building out our project the right way. So as you can see, we're already on phase two. Would you like me to proceed with re reading and implementing page two? Absolutely. Yes. Continue. So you've seen, I've basically given it two prompts start and now I'm just saying continue. And that's it. Look at this. I'm proceeding to read and implementing page two to create the necessary pages. So now it's going to go through and again, it's going to follow every single step because we gave it a very clear roadmap. And this is the huge benefit of, um, of this tool. Um, I think the tool is like, I don't even know, 15 bucks, I think. Um, and um, if you guys want to check it out, I have a demo here. It's an affiliate link. Um, you can buy me a cup of coffee for my late night uh, development sessions. <laughs> I really appreciate it. And um, and because I love it, I think it's an absolute monster of a tool. Before I would have to go into ChatGPT and try to create this, but ChatGPT hallucinates because it does not understand 
or sonnet or whatever you use. It can get a pretty good idea, but you can't put a screenshot in there and be like, give me a breakdown. And it actually goes in, analyzes the image and gives you every single component, every single page. And remember, we're only giving it the front page, but that's not what it's gonna build. It's gonna build all of the additional pages that the um, website has. That's the part that I'm excited to show you guys. So hopefully we're getting close. This is all in real time. So this has taken five minutes since we've actually started in cursor. So now it's doing all the layout components. I'm always excited to see what it actually creates. And remember, we also have a uh, folder with images that I downloaded from the actual website. So check this out. So I'm gonna tell it after it finishes, hey, I got a bunch of these images, implement these images into the design. So then it's not just gonna be text, if that makes sense. It's gonna actually use um, images from the, uh, from the website. And again, we're not launching this, we're not a competitor to Cursor, but I wanna show you the power of Cursor and the power of, um, of this tool because what you can do with it. And it's pretty, pretty fascinating. Copy coder. All right, so we got features page. So it's continuing to build. It's going step by step and building out everything in order. I'm actually curious to see what it's gonna do with pricing. I'm curious to see what it's gonna do with, um, with all the different sections because it is gonna build it. I promise you that part. Yeah. So it's already fixing its own errors. It's putting icons. This is wild, like it really is. And especially with um, the authentication, which I have in this other video here, you guys can watch me build a notes app from start to finish with a front end, with a back end, with authentication, all that stuff. A couple of weeks ago, I didn't even know what that meant. And now I'm here teaching you guys how to actually do this. If you're a developer watching this and you already know this, hey, I wish I was like you, but I'm not. I don't have that developer brain, but now with no code and a couple of these tools, I'm starting to understand and really get the grasp of what a front end is or what a back end is or what a authentication is and security and all those things. It's getting much easier to be able to actually implement stuff from beginning to end, not just in theory, coming up with ideas, but actually be able to implement these projects. Oh, it's creating a blog page. This thing is gonna have a freaking blog page. <laughs> it's gonna be a full blown cursor website. Maybe I'll send it to cursor and be like, hey guys, I rebuilt your website. Hope you like it. <laughs> that actually would be pretty funny. Um, I built cursor from scratch and sent it to cursor. Yeah, so we'll see. It's actually gonna be pretty robust. There is definitely quite a lot of pages and that's the beautiful part of this um, is, how much detail this is gonna build, and I can't wait to see it. So we'll see here. Let's create the forum page. Wow, it's gonna do forums, this is nuts. I hope you guys are enjoying this. The tool is amazing, and for 15 bucks, it's absolutely crazy. When I first saw it and I saw a demo on YouTube, I was like, oh, this thing's gonna be like 100 bucks, I really thought. Because that's, I mean, the value is just insane, especially if you build something using it. And also, if you guys haven't watched my stuff before, I like to build out these projects. Somebody recommended to build this out, so I went in and built it. So if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, if you want to talk some trash, you know where the comment section is. And uh, I always love feedback. I really wanted to, um, you know, get on YouTube and start creating this stuff because I was already doing this for the last six months. And then my friends like, dude, why don't you start posting on YouTube? So that's where we are here. Okay, I think we're getting close. So let's take a look at the website. Oh, what do we have here? The AI powered development platform, AI powered components. Put some random pictures. Look at this. Pricing. Oh man. It took the pricing features. Features page. <laughs> look at this. This is crazy. Enterprise. With a, look at this with the sign up, get in touch. Blog page. Oh my gosh. Look at this. A forum with discussions, we got to sign in, we got to download, and careers, we even have a job post. Guys, are you seeing this? I uploaded a picture, a freaking picture on this website, Copy Coder, and I ended up with, with this. Are you getting what I'm selling here? This would take me, honestly, using cursor, before probably three, four days to actually structure it like this. I would probably get like halfway there and then I would break it. It would hallucinate, it would create some crazy pages. I would not be able to get it back. But now this is, remember, this is first publish. Now this is where the good stuff gets. So check this out. Do you remember that image folder? Yeah. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into cursor and we're gonna make a folder called images. 
And now we're going to take all those images and we're going to drag them into that folder. Bang. And then I'm going to say at folder. Hold on, you need to click into it first. I remember this is the one thing with cursor. You got to click into it and go through them really quick. And then I almost feel like cursor like remembers it. Even, so check this out, okay? So now we're gonna put that in there and I'm gonna say at, and I, I bet you it's gonna be here. At least it did last time. So we're gonna go, there it is, images, see? So there's a little trick. It's like you just like click through it and then cursor register it as a file. Okay, now I'm gonna say this. I added a bunch of images for the website, for the website. Can you add them all to the home page. There are there are some nice backgrounds, backgrounds and uh, images of founders, etc. Make it remove, replace all uh, whatever the stock photos you picked, picked. Enter. And now we are basically telling cursor, hey, we got this folder of images. Let's really now amplify the website. So if you have designs for your website, you can now go in and actually implement those images also within Cursor. Once I found this out, this was really a game changer. So now let's see what ends up happening. So let's go back to the site. Let's hit refresh. Woo! Look at that. Now we got gradients, we got images, we got backgrounds. Look at this. We got developers, more developers. Zach and Eamon, I'm not sure if you guys are the right guys, but you can see now how quickly this went from a basic looking site to something really, truly beautiful. Yeah. So as you guys can see, this is the power of cursor when used with this incredible tool called copy coder. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Click the link in the bio, take a demo, sign up. It's 15 bucks and uh, you can buy me a cup of coffee with it if you guys really enjoyed it. I hope you like this video and come back for more. I'm going to have much more videos when it comes to developing SaaS different demos, different products. We have a bunch of stuff coming and I'm going to be making, I'm pretty much making videos daily right now. So hope you enjoyed that and I will see you in the next one. Marcin AI, I'm out.